Hello and welcome to the session where we're going to show you what you need to do in order to request a license for Conformic Automatic. So in our example, we will use the um, uh, Conformic Automatic version for Eclipse, Cucumber, Selenium, Java. And uh, we will show you how to install it and then how to get to the part where you get some information about your machine that we need in order to generate your license. So firstly, uh, whenever we install Conformic Automatic, we expect that the test execution tool is already installed. In this case, we have here Eclipse Java. So in my specific case, what I've installed here is the Mars.2 version. Uh, this definitely works, but I believe also new versions of Eclipse uh, are working uh, for, this is the Eclipse ID for Java developers. You can download that for free from the Eclipse Foundation website and install that. Yes, and that's the thing you need to start out because everything will be based on that. So if you use Conformic Automatic for another test automation tool, then you need to make sure that that's installed. So for example, HCL1 test UI, you need to have HCL1 test installed in order to install Conformic Automatic. Okay, that's clear. So then the next thing we do is uh, basically in all of these Eclipse tools, it always works in the same way. We go to the help menu and then to install new software. So basically here in this dialog, I click add and I go to archive to basically point the tool to the plugin installer that I've been downloading from the Conformic website. And that's what we discussed in the previous video, how we do that. So, okay, I've downloaded this plugin as a zip file. So now I go, therefore, to Archive. Then I select it. Obviously, I sec select the one for Cucumber Selenium Java because HCL1 test UI will not work with Eclipse Java. Uh, so I select this one. I click Open, and I click OK. So then Eclipse analyzes what's in this package, and I can actually select what I want. Uh, so there is basically two separate features or importers for importing from Excel to Cucumber and for importing from ALM to Cucumber. So we can just install everything. You know, the license activates the use of these. So when you go and request a license, you have to say for which one of these two or both you want to have a license. So anyway, we select uh, all of them at this point and click Next. That launches the Eclipse installation system, which again shows you what will be installed. Then we have the end user license agreement, the so-called EULA, that you should have a quick look at and that you should need to agree to. And then you click finish and that launches the installation process. So this takes a little bit of time in Eclipse and uh, as part of the installation process, you will soon see there is actually a warning about unsigned content that we need to acknowledge as part of the installation, which is completely normal. So this is the warning, we click OK. And then basically, um, Eclipse installs all of the components required to make Conformic Automatic run. Again, the same thing happens when you, basically it's even the same names of the dialogues in HCL1 tests, so this works very similar. Let's give Eclipse a moment to complete the installation of the plugin. Okay, after this is done, it will request you to restart your environment, which we accept to accept, otherwise you will not see the new plugin. Um, this is an Eclipse requirement, so let's give Eclipse a moment to come back up. You can unfortunately not see the splash screen, which is on my other screen. But uh, it's loading. Okay, and there we're back in Eclipse. So what you will now see is that, for example, if you right-click and you import, 
you can already see Conformic Automatic has been installed and both of these importers are available. But if I would now go through and actually use them, I would soon get a warning that, hey, you don't have a license. So the whole point was we did the installation to get information we need for licensing. So the way how you do that is you go into Window, Preferences, and then you click on Conformic Licensing. So basically, when you install this, you don't have a license there. And it's empty, right? So we need you need to get from sales this file that you link here. And the way how you do with this is you request it from sales by you know providing this information that you see here. The way how you grab that is not by taking a screenshot or by copying and pasting, even you just click that button, copy information to clipboard. Then you can, for example, simply send an email to sales at conformic.com, right? You say, email license for conformic. No. And please generate license. Excel to number prints. So basically, in this email, you need to tell the features that you want to use or that you have want to buy the have bought the license for or want to buy the license for. And then basically, again, you pr press Control V, uh, and you can say my information is. So that way you get the information. Now for your case, of course, it's different because this is specific to your machine and your setup. So, and here we go. And so basically then you could click send and it will go off to sales and they return to you a file with the license key for the features that you've requested purchased and then uh, you basically you link this in the dialog by using just the uh, choose file menu so that completes uh, the installation video and how you find out what information to provide to sales to generate the license for you um, so that closes this video and in the next video we will show you an example project how we walk you through that thank you for watching